Lieutenant Governor, and on behalf of the state of Oklahoma, it is my pleasure to welcome each of you today to a historic an exciting unveiling of Oklahoma's new brand. Well, we're, we're just really excited. I'm so proud of this guy. Uh, he took this project on. We brought Oklahomans from around the around the state with PR and advertising firms that came and donated their time. And we feel like we came up with a world-class brand. And so just, uh, it was by Oklahomans, for Oklahomans, and so excited about the future. And, yeah. and what would you say? Yeah, I mean, it's never been done before. I mean, no state's really done it this way, bringing, you know, bringing a state's, you know, creative class together, volunteering their time to do it. And it is top 10. I assure you of that. We have, we have looked at how every, every state, uh, their branding effort, and so now we're really looking for the exciting thing now is now the transformation process across the state of Oklahoma and inside state government agencies. Gotcha. And I, I love saying uh, we're taking Oklahoma to the world and we're bringing the world back to Oklahoma, and this is just a a, uh, a common brand now that we can all use to talk about Oklahoma. Imagine that. Top 10 state. Imagine that. I know you asked for $2 million in your executive budget for the lieutenant governor's brand rollout. What what would that money go towards if you were granted that in the state budget? Sure. Well, it, it obviously goes into tourism, goes into commerce, to put up billboards, to uh, to buy advertising in all kinds of publications around the country and around the world. We're, we're wanting to uh, up Oklahoma's profile and our brand. And, uh, and all the things that the lieutenant Go governor rolled out here, uh, advertising and telling, telling uh, the world what great things are happening in Oklahoma. So, uh, and, then, and then just this common brand and, and marketing, you've got to have uh, one way to write your logo, one way to write your name, one way to talk about it. So this gives our business community, it gives uh, obviously our, our state websites, it gives us a common theme, it gives commerce something to talk, talk about. So the money will be out there uh, in advertising directly to businesses. Uh, and letting them know about Oklahoma. You guys hired a Canadian advertising agency to develop that brand. Um, can you respond to that? Yes, we hired a facilitator. Uh, they had no creative input whatsoever, uh, and it was one of the best things we did. Uh, was was hiring a firm. You know, we, you got 200 people together, and we split them off into nine different subcommittees. We had to have a professional organization actually help facilitate that to make sure trains were running on time. Uh, if we did not have a professional facilitator to facilitate this whole effort. Uh, I don't know if we would have been able to launch this, and, I'd, and you can go talk to any of our team captains or anybody inside of, of the OCLEX committee. Uh, we, it was a, um, one of the best decisions we made. How much did you guys spend on that? Yeah, so right now about $200,000. Um, and just as comparison say, Colorado spent over $850,000 uh, when they did their rebrand, um, and, and that was a year's worth of work uh, to facilitate this. So uh, a bargain, to say the least. And what, why, why Canada? Yeah. Knows Oklahoma better than Oklahoma. Yeah. So, Oklahoma. absolutely. So, the creative process we wanted to make sure that it was built by Oklahomans. We did not. If we would have hired a firm from Oklahoma, we would not have gotten the buy-in from those all of those 200 people in the room because they would have just thought it was a it was a rig deal. So, we wanted to make sure that we brought somebody in that did have a fresh look, was not connected, didn't have biases in the state. Uh, we wanted a neutral facilitator. Uh, we could have picked someone from another state, but we wanted to have a neutral facilitator, the best and the brightest, an operative this firm. Uh, many of those individuals, the whole team used to work uh, for um, uh, one of the largest branding companies in the entire world, Intrabrand. Uh, and so they were the best of the best. And, and just, to, just to piggyback on that, what, what the lieutenant governor did by bringing in 200 PR firms, advertising firms, they all donated their time to this project. And we couldn't choose one over the other and pay them any money. We had to have a facilitator to yeah. bring, get everybody's buy-in. So the facilitator uh, rolled it out, but we, but it all came from Oklahomans that created the brand. Yeah. So there's politics in developing a brand. <laughs> hey, <laughs> like you didn't want to favor, let's say, Saxum Bingo. over sure. Bingo. another. Okay. Bingo. Yeah, you know, That's Ackerman. Right. Bring in Ackerman, or say, yeah. I mean, we've got world-class companies here. They all helped. They all helped. But we had to make sure that we had a neutral facilitator. Because yep. we were asking them all to donate oh, yeah. their time for right. free to come to the table. And, uh, and, and that, that, that's the way we, we rolled yeah. it out, and it, it's turned out great. Through the research that we, we did, when people come to Oklahoma, they're wowed. There's a surprise factor. I had no idea is usually how the sentence starts. So we knew we wanted to tap into that without saying the word surprise. And we also wanted to have kind of that emotional connection of the American dream still lives in Oklahoma. You can still imagine your dreams in Oklahoma. And we kept hovering around this imagine that saying. Um, it, it's, it's, you don't forget it, 
uh, and it can be used in so many different ways. Uh, and we wanted no more than two words. That was also kind of the directive from from uh, a lot of it, a lot of people. We wanted to be short, memorable. It could be used commerce, tourism. It can be used across different agencies as well. Works really well. Mm -hmm.